everyone! It's Brooke from Palatine Library and I'm here for another baby time! So yay! Thanks for tuning in with us today. Uh, today we, uh, the theme is bodies or our bodies and we are going to do stories and songs related to body parts and it will help babies learn that there are different words and sounds attached to their body. So first, the good morning song, and I'll get out my panda bear baby for this. So this is our, well, hello, everybody, can you wave hello? Wave hello, wave hello, well, hello, everybody, can you wave hello? Can you wave hello? Hello, hello, hi. Well, hello, everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your nose? Can you touch your nose? And then, well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your knees? Touch your knees, touch your knees. Well, hello, everybody. Can you touch your knees? Can you touch your knees? Yay! And you could just keep on going. Touch your ears. Touch your hands, touch your toes, touch your shoulders. There we go. So today I'm going to show you a couple different books. Um, both of them are by Jabari Haseem. And the first, whose toes are those? And whose knees are these? Uh, both of these books are frequently recommended for using with babies and toddlers when you want to introduce or talk about race or diversity. Uh, so this is a good way to talk about skin color, a good start, and so I will show you the first one. So whose toes are those? Look, this baby has brown toes. Whose toes are those? Look at those toes. Who do you suppose has such fine toes? So brown and sweet, who could have such dancing feet? Ten little toes, all in a row. Whose toes are those? Do you know? Tell me, won't you please? Tell me, tell me. Whose toes are these? This little piggy went to market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy went all the way to England. And this little piggy chose Rome. And this little piggy sang her own sweet song all these piggies must surely belong to the girl with the sparkling eyes and that cute little button nose. Why, those are your toes. Now everyone knows. Cute. And I will go through whose knees are these with you as well. <gasps> whose knees are those? Knees like these don't grow on trees. So brown and so strong, to whom do these fine knees belong? I've searched the world in seven seas. Never have I seen such charming knees. Tell me, won't you please? Tell me, tell me, who has knees like these? Look at those knees. Left knee, right knee, climbing up a stair. Right knee, left knee, such a mighty pair. No one has to wander far to see whose knees these are. They belong to that cheerful chap sitting on mommy's lap. 
Ben's knees are lovely, it's true. And now I know they belong to you. Great. So we've got a couple of these each at the library. If you're interested, come on in. And finally, we are going to do a shaker song again, focusing on various body parts. So this is just a, an egg, empty plastic egg, or an Easter egg filled with rice, but you could just use a rattle. So we will do this twice. So egg shakers up, egg shakers down, egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulder, dance them on your head, dance them on your leg, and tuck them into bed. Good. So we'll do it again. You can do it with your baby, to your baby, whichever you prefer. So egg shakers up, egg shakers down, egg shakers dancing all around the town. Dance them on your shoulder. Dance them on your head, dance them on your leg, and tuck them into bed. Good job! All right, that's it for baby time today. Thanks for stopping by. So we are going to do the goodbye song, which goes, Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. 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 See you next time.